Okay, this is the solution to uh, problem number one of the midterm lab section 51. So the problem that we have is given in, in, this, in this configuration. And the first thing that you realize uh, that the intention is to use this thing uh, and, and do it by the solid elements, okay? However, if somebody decided to use this thing with shell elements and they did it correctly, they also got full marks, okay? Uh, but the intention of this problem was to be done with solid elements. Now, look at the loading configuration. So we know that uh, the, left, uh, the left face A, B, C, D is clamped, and there is a, a total load of 200 pounds applied on this top face. We, this will bend, and the only plane of symmetry is the one that if you take a cut halfway between the entire thickness of that. You cannot cut it horizontally. You have to take half of this thing by cutting it all the way through the thickness, okay? Uh, yep, so let's go ahead and make the geometry. Uh, so let's see now, we start with the part file. This is to be done with the part file, the part. And uh, immediately I'm going to save this. So this is going to be uh, a file, save management, uh, save as, uh, desktop, new folder. This is uh, midterm, midterm, section 51. Section 51, problem one. Problem one. Okay. All right. Let's put everything in here. Say okay. And okay. Now we're going to create the geometry. Everything is in inches. So I'm just going to follow my. Uh, drawings there. I'll put the dimensions later on. So it looks something like this. I'm going to model the whole thing and then cut it into half with uh, the appropriate plane. And I'm not worried about, uh, you know, making sure that all the symmetries and all, all those are maintained, but I will clean it up in just a minute, okay? So it's roughly something like that. All right, so let's make the Let's make a uh, thing symmetric. So uh, this line, control that line, control middle axis. It's going to be symmetric. Top line, control bottom line, control middle axis, symmetric. Okay. And uh, uh, the different ways of doing this thing, let's... Uh, Let's actually dimension these things. Actually, we can do this too. This line, control, that line, control, middle axis, also symmetric. Very good. Now we can dimension. So let's see now, what do we have here? This is three inches. Three inches. Uh, this is also three inches. Yep, this is also three inches. Okay, the width is, I don't have enough light here, so let me see for a second. That width is two inches. Two inches. That, this one is four. Okay, and this angle, you're told, is 30 degrees. So the angle between this line and that line, the drawing says this is 30. Okay, now we also have a circle here, so let's do this. 
a square circle right at the center there. And we're gonna dimension it. The radius of that circle is one. Yep. That radius is one or diameter is two. Okay. This is our model, exit. And you, uh, you, uh, I'm, I am going to, I am going to uh, uh, do a mirror extent here, but you don't have to because you know that you really need half of that depth, half of the, another point five. But I'm going to make it a total depth of five, a point five, and then I'm going to split it. I mean, I agree with you. This is nuts because I'm going to cut it with that. So uh, that, that's fine. That's the way I like to do it. Doesn't matter which side we keep. There we are. Now this is made out of steel. So let's uh, make this thing out of steel, metal, steel on this part. We say okay and save everything. All right, now. Uh, <clears throat> this is all done. So we're going to go to uh, generative structure analysis. It's a static problem. You are asked not to forget to get a, a local uh, finer mesh around this hole. So let's do that. Okay, you know how to do the local mesh refinement. You go here, you know, second toolbar from the left, local mesh. I didn't tell you how much. All I want to do is to make sure that you know how to do it. Right now, it's some value that it took from the previous one, point 0.1. You can make it anything you want. I don't know. You want more point 0.2, no problem. I, I did not specify what the value should be. I just want to make sure you can create a finer mesh around this hole. Yeah, I did it like that. So fine. Now, uh, the left side is clamped. This is clamped. Okay. Do not forget the surface slider. The entire back face is surface slider because it's a plane of symmetry. Yeah, okay. And there is a load, total load of, it was 200 on the entire face uh, EF uh, or EF18, but because we are taking half of that face now, we'd have to put half of uh, 200, which is 100. So total force on this uh, in the Z direct negative Z direction, yep, minus 100. We do, we do not want you to convert this thing to pressure. We want you to specify things as we said. The total force was specified to be 200. So on that face, half a face, it's 100. So let's save it before we run. File, save management, save as. I'm going to use the same uh, same name. But remember, on the test, you have to rename these things: your student ID number, your last name, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this is it. So let's uh, run it. Okay, don't worry about this uh, warning message. I did not say to use, uh, well, the problem, the, 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 the statement of the problem says use linear element with default element size and stack. So I don't know what I had, whether I had linear or not, but it really doesn't matter. We don't care. I mean, even if you use parabolic, uh, that's okay. Here I use parabolic, no problem. But we ask you to use linear. There is no deduction of mark if you use parabolic as opposed to linear. But uh, okay, I'll, I'll run it with linear. The only reason we say linear is because we don't want you to use parabolic and accidentally put a very small number e two, and then the whole thing will take hours to run. And then you have to kill the job and we all regret it. Okay, there it is. There is no deduction of mark if you use parabolic. Okay, so, so there it is. That's what we expect. You can animate. Okay. And if you gave this thing, 
to the G, to to our markers, you got uh, 30 marks out of 100. Excellent. Good job, guys. So I'm going to stop this and move on to the other problems. These are done in separate videos. Okay. All right.